Well, he is the best bantamweight in the world, or close to it, right? He has said that to everyone with an earshot all week, finally getting a shot at the belt, and he has no intention of missing out on this opportunity. He believes he's going to be the new champ by night. Okay, this is going to be done. He believes that it's only a matter of time before he's the champion of the world. He said he has done everything to prepare himself. His mind is ready. His body is ready. His team is ready. It is not just you out there. Your team has to be lock and sync with the athlete. He believes that they are all on the same page to become the champ. And he does believe he has occupied some headspace in the champion. I'm not so sure that's the reality, but we're going to find out here in that going to be very interesting to see how this title fight plays out. Oh, what a punch. <laughs> now he touches him with the left. Early connection with the left from the champ. Slips that left hand. Body kick is there. Another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the charts. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Great block there. Beautiful body kick. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight, and we got a full-on broke. These guys said that they were going to point this to the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. There you go. Nice combination there. Oh, and the Superman punch is good. Under three minutes here to go in the round. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. back in the clinch. How does he proceed from here? Oh, and there is another knee landed. You have to ask the question at this point, how many more can his opponent take before he crumbles down to the canvas? Beautiful execution on that strike there. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean... It's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Leg kick. Oh, 
beautiful straight right hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Tries to work it into a takedown. Oh, misses with the jab. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Liver kick. Back and forth we go. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Oh. Under a minute now to go in round one. Big shot to the head. Forward and takedown. Lands a shot to the leg. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, once again, landing some really nice knees in combination here. His corner absolutely loving the execution. And on the other side, they are visibly frustrated. Their fighter hasn't found any answers defensively thus far. Ten seconds to go in the round. Huh. Second round, straight ahead. Great job out there. Your cardio is insane. All those sprints, all the conditioning you need in the gym. It's really proven itself. That is your key to victory. All right, a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes, DC, and big part of the narrative, those knee strikes. Those knee strikes landed, and they landed and did a ton of damage. You can see his opponent slowing down because he's taking so many of those knee strikes to the body. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. All right, next round is underway. He was super active in the previous round, landed a bunch of knees, did a lot of damage. We'll see if he can follow up with more of the same here. It does not take much in terms of how many knees you have to land to really take an effect on your opponent. In that round, we saw him make it a priority, and he landed him at an alarming rate. Went for the inside leg kick. Pretty interesting to see him mixing it up with the kicks here. Some calf kicks and now attacking the thigh effectively. Just throwing a traditional leg kick. The traditional leg kick was a little higher. Everybody wants to talk about that calf kick right now. But there's still a lot can be done with those traditional leg kicks. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. And the switch kick lands. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Both guys appeared to land there. Real sneaky body kick. Again, that body kick, that body kick is going to really take effect on him. And it won't take very long. Oh, and he caught the kick. Just over three minutes to go. Lands that beautiful jab. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. And now some separation. 
Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken... He threw the flying knee and it landed to the head. Leg kick lands and immediately a mark on his opponent. And there's a takedown attempt. Lands a jab. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Under two minutes now to go. Great commitment to the kick. Straight punch, it's there again. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Unable to connect there. All right, we'll see if he has any response here. His opponent continues to land. A lot of swelling upstairs. Well, you got to move your head. You've got to be preemptive. You cannot wait until your opponent starts to throw something in your direction. You've got to avoid right now if you want to avoid having this become an issue. Under a minute to go. Nice strike. Just missed with the leg kick. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Oh, nice. Just out of range with that right hand. 20 seconds to go round two. Great punch landing with so much power. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Uh, round three next. Stop, stop, stop. Great work. You won that last round. This round, we want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was good night at that land, dude. Quick jab. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Clinch position, look for a lot of different takedown attempts. A lot of level changes, really trying to empty the gas tank of the opponent. Sidekick, well done. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Man, he is hurting for certain. I don't care how many planks, crunches you do, the body is not meant to absorb that type of damage. No, you can prepare yourself so thoroughly and still not be ready for this, because this has been hard. To watch this guy has taken every shot 
That is a cornerstone to his body. I'm amazed that he's even still standing right now. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. Oh, Superman punch. Wow. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his strike. He got it done with his strike, and he fought well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Man, he is unrecognizable as far as that midsection is concerned. Might have a fractured rib. He's going to be urinating blood for a week. <laughs> this dude's in trouble. He's in trouble. Hey. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, Back to his feet. Big right hand. Heavy leather landed on both sides of that exchange. With two minutes and change to go in round three. Oh, nice take down the front. Leg gets to the target. Nasty high kick man. He's got that jab working. Nicely done. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching forward, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. We got to start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. Nice straight right, Lance. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. He's got that single collar tie. Try to establish that jab. One minute now to go on the third. Beautiful jab there by the champ. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in the fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. And right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. Well, this is absolutely... Oh! Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Oh, nice body shot. So the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. We have arrived at the fourth round fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, nice technique on the sidekick. You don't learn that overnight. 
All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovers. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Looking to land the leg kick now. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Oh, man, that kick looked like it hurt. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Oh, slips and rips. How about that for execution? Great job landing that body kick. His nose is all crooked, it's all beat up, it's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. Look at that good passion that comes from him throwing that kick. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, roundhouse kick. Superman punch lands. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, big diving punch to the head. Yep, gotta be very careful there. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Beautiful kick to the body. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Collar tie here in the clinch. Oh, man, you gotta credit him for continuing to attack that area, but that cut is getting harder to look at by the minute. It's hard to watch, and, you know, we, we spoke about this guy and how impressed we were with his fight IQ and how smart he was in his approach. Shows again, he got his approach hurt, and he has been on that cut the entire time. Great job. Trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, okay. keeping those legs locked and keeping the full guard. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. All right, so the ref is going to step in here and call on the doctor to look at what is a now mangled nose. This could be the end of the fight. It could be the end of the fight. There's a lot of blood. The blood's going down into the mouth. I mean, the nose could be broken. I'm not even sure how the doctor's going to be able to find that cut under all the blood, but he did, and it looks as though, given the location, he's going to allow the fighter to continue, at least for now. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, so some pretty significant adversity here, but the fight is going to continue. The doctor has left, and the ref gets his back underway. Gets his right back underway, and it doesn't seem like there was too much thought into it. It looked like they were going to let him fight, and that's exactly what they did, and I could not be happy. Well, this is getting hard to watch, and sometimes you hear us. Oh! Back to the feet now. There we go. Prioritize the finish tonight. Absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should...